Welcome to the Yoga Cooldown for Legs routine. We'll begin in extended child's pose. With your knees wide, arms out long, rest your forehead down onto your mat, and take a few deep breaths to completely relax. From your eyebrows, to your jaw, to your shoulders, and your hips. Let go. So rise up into a tabletop and step your right foot forward into a low lunge. With your back knee down, just sink into your hips for a moment. Then for a quad opener, reach your right hand back to grab onto your left ankle. Even just by bending your knee and reaching your fingers back, you're opening up your quad, so don't skip it. Deepen your breath by exhaling everything from your lungs and take in an even longer inhale. Full deep exhale. And continue to deepen your breath as we cool down. Release your quad opener and shift your hips back for Hanumanasana prep, any variation that serves you. So your right leg is straight, right toe is flexing back. You can stay lifted above your back knee or sit your hips back onto your heel. Most important is that you're hinging from your hips as you fold your body over your right leg and take about five deep breaths as your right hamstring lengthens. Now walk your hands forward, bend your right knee, come back to your tabletop and switch sides. Step your left foot forward with your back knee down, just sink into your hips. And for the quad opener, reach your left hand back to grab onto your right foot or just reach. Feel your breath move through your body. So you're breathing in more than just your chest. Feel your breath in your torso, even down into your hips. Then gentle release and find the same variation of Hanumanasana prep that you took on the other side. Hinge from your hips to lay your long spine over your leg. Even if that means that it's more of a 90 degree fold <laughs> than it is a full fold, that's fine. Take what works for your body today so that you can really get into your left hamstring for a few more deep breaths. Then walk your hands forward, come back to tabletop, and make your way to your last down dog of the practice. Strong yogi hands gripping your mat, press your hips high and back. Then on your next inhale, look up, bend your knees. Exhale, ninja hop to the top of your mat. For gorilla pose, bend your knees as much as you need to to slide your hands underneath 
so much that your toes come all the way up to your wrists. It's the compression of stepping on your hands and wrists that will help heal and revitalize the muscles, tendons, and joints in your hands and wrists. So relax your neck and shift your weight from one foot to the other. Then release and shake out your hands. Take a seat on your mat and come to lie down on your back and set up a figure four. Right ankle to your left knee, right toes flexing back. Thread your hands through your legs to interlace underneath your left thigh or shin. And keep your right knee tracking open as you gently draw your legs in closer towards you. You should feel a lot of tension releasing from your right hip. So make sure you're not replacing that tension anywhere else. Shoulders are soft, your jaw is relaxed. Now keep your legs as they are, but release your hands. Then cross your legs even deeper, right knee above your left knee, and walk your hands down your shins to pull your ankles towards your hips. This is supine cow legs. You might recognize it from the seated variation of this pose. Three, two, one. Unravel your legs completely for happy baby pose and iron out your spine. Then let's switch sides. Set up a figure four with your left ankle on your right knee. Left toes flexing back. Thread your hands through to interlace underneath your right thigh or shin. Give a gentle pull and focus on tension releasing as you deepen your breath and with each exhale, pull your legs in a little closer. And for cow facing legs, Cross your legs even deeper, left knee above your right. Walk your hands down your shins to pull your ankles in towards your hips. Relax your shoulders and deepen your breath as the tension from your hips melts away. Then unravel your legs and find happy baby once more. Draw your knees into your chest and hold on to your right shin as you extend your left leg long and reach your right arm straight up from your side and pull your knee across your body. Breathe so deep into your twist that your inhales puff up your torso and your exhales relax you deeper into your twist. Then make your way back to center to switch sides. Pull your left knee in, right leg long, extend your left arm straight out from your side, and pull your knee across your body. Breathe deep. Melt into place. Relax your body into the pose versus straining for a deeper stretch. Come back to center, pull both knees in. And feel free to add a little movement if that feels good for you. When you're ready, release your legs, release your hands, and bring the soles of your feet together as your knees fall open. And touch your fingers together overhead, elbows fall open. And gently close your eyes and feel every sensation in your body. This is what it feels like to 
get stronger. And stay here for as long as you like. If you are ready to come out, just roll onto your side, then press yourself up, and have a good day.